Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Wellness by Design today. I'm Jane Hogan, the wellness engineer and your host. Really excited today. We're going to be talking about getting a balance in your body, a natural facelift, and I've got an expert on that, Kathy Goldstein, here today. So welcome, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. I'm very, uh, very excited to share. Well, you and I met because you spoke well, you're a speaker on my summit uh, about, and, and you, the reason we came, we wanted to have you on the summit was because you talk about energy and toxins and these things. But you also have this whole other part of you where you developed all this beautiful skincare stuff to help people look younger. And you look amazing. Thank I won't you. say Kathy's age, but she's older than me. And she doesn't she look fantastic? I don't mind you saying my age. <laughs> okay. All right. 62 in August. Look at her now. Isn't she amazing? <laughs> okay. So I'm going to introduce you to the audience so that they know more about you. And then we'll talk about what brought you into all this, Kathy. So Kathy, uh, APNCCAOM diploma, ACU. So uh, she's an acupuncturist, yes. is the founder of multiple integrative health uh, clinics. She has been a columnist and featured in multiple magazines, including a series for New Visions Magazine and Philadelphia Magazine. Guest lecturer at Jefferson University, University Medical School. She is a frequently requested speaker for symposiums and health summits like mine. Um, so Dr. Goldstein is considered a subject matter expert in the field of biomedicine through Eastern medicine really interesting combination. She has been an international instructor nationally and uh, on the global stage. Kathy has been practicing and teaching alternative medicine for more than 30 years, four years. She has trained with world renowned practitioners and healers through the US as well as masters in Chinese and Japanese medicine. She spe specializes in energy medicine technology and body, mind, neuropsychology. <laughs> All right. There's so much fun stuff there and I can't wait to unpack it a little bit, but let's just talk first of all about your, how you got to be doing this work that you're doing, because I know a lot of us have our own story and I'm sure you have a story too. So let's hear how you came to be doing this kind of work. Well, actually kind of, it's interesting how parallel our, our lives are. And I'm sure a lot of the people who are, who are watching and, and tuning in is, is that, um, I originally, when I was in my twenties, I was studying pre-med and planning on medical school. And I ended up really, really sick with Crohn's disease. And mm -hmm. I ended up going to acupuncture school instead of medical school because of the results that I got that Western medicine wasn't giving me. But mm -hmm. one of the things that was, so that really kind of drove, drove my, um, uh, a career, you know, that drove my career. Yeah. The, one of the things that really drove me as well is, is that in that kind of neuroscience mentality is, is that, um, well, one is in today's day and age, energy medicine is the answer, you know, it is right. So, you know, I mean, we already know that drugs are not the answer. They're great. They can save your life. Surgery can save your life. But if you want to thrive and, and like really feel your vitality and live as you, you know, tell everyone about that energy and that, that you're, you're the engineer. So, you know, clearly that bioscience aspect is, is, is not cutting edge anymore. It is what makes it. It's what makes health. The yeah. other is, is that because I use a lot of energy and frequencies and um, uh, technology in my office, I and, and then combining my long history of illness, what I found was that at 49, I looked in the mirror and I actually have been doing a, a holistic healthcare. I actually was feeling really good, but somehow I just caught myself in the mirror at that, you know, at a point where I just went, when the heck did that happen? Where I felt like I had aged, I looked so much older, so much older than I actually was. Um, and that kind of drove me to, to, to try to reevaluate skin, underlying tissues, what really causes aging, and how I can use uh, the, the, the energy technology to actually repair not only the inside out, but the outside in as well. 
Mm, I love that because we are all we are energy, but our skin is energy too, right? And right. Uh, and and I think it does. We can tell a lot about someone's vitality just by sensing that energy, but we can also see it on their faces. I was I was telling Kathy just before we went live that um, when I went on vacation one time, the first vacation without the kids, and it was so relaxing. And when I came back, people said, wow, you look different. <laughs> and like they said, your face looks lighter. It doesn't like I wasn't dragged down so much. So I think when we, and that's because I was feeling better from vacation. I was on sailing holiday for two weeks. Right. It was fantastic. And I did feel good. Yeah. So yeah. you, you, um, you started off with acupuncture, you moved into more vitality and, and, and especially skin vitality. So let's right. hear a little bit about that. Right. So one of the things that you really kind of pointed out in, in uh, what makes us look more tired and in the long haul aged is, uh, is the stress and fatigue. But yeah. one of the things that really makes a difference as well is, is that <clears throat> when the muscles in the face, <clears throat> excuse me, the muscles in the face are very different than the muscles in the body. Yeah. <clears throat> the muscles in the body kind of have opposing uh, uh, muscles that help to lengthen it. So the reason why the face really shows our, uh, the, our signs of decreased vitality or aging or pain, because pain is huge. We wear pain on our face so okay. much, mm -hmm. right? But what happens is, is that it gets stuck on our face. So when I looked in like, you know, like I was saying, when I looked in the mirror at 49, uh, um, I already was having the Marietta lines. I already was having that, you know, that drop jaw line. I already was having like really defined uh, what we call 11 and the lines across my forehead and the, just the flattening of the face that happens with aging. That makes us, it looks sagged if you will. So what I, what I, in knowing that the muscles of the face are different than the muscles of the body, and they don't have opposing muscles. So it's either skin to skin or bone to skin. So when we, when we like scrunch our face up because we're in pain or we're stressed or we're thinking there it's, it, it gets stuck. It stays there. So all of our emotions, all of our history, all of our um, experiences in life, like divorce and death and children <laughs> and illness all kind of get stuck on our face. Mm, that is such an interesting concept to think that it's stuck on our face. But I like I know when someone's in pain, I know myself, if I yes. if I'm having a flare or something and I'm in pain and I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, yes. I look like I'm in pain. Yeah. You know, you can tell people do wear it on their face. So how if they if you if we don't have these muscles, opposing muscles, then how do we make those facial muscles get stronger? Okay. Yeah. So interestingly enough, because when we're thinking about aging, we're thinking about sagging skin and sagging muscles, but that's not actually the whole picture. The okay. interesting part is, is that it's the muscles that are tight that are dragging our skin and our face around. So one of the things that, uh, 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 mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the skincare system as, and the protocol system that I developed because of this motivating factor, um, has to do with really understanding the underlying issues as well. And the underlying issues is that the muscles that tighten are the ones that need to be lengthened. And there's ah. really nobody who looks at that. <laughs> right? As you, okay. As you say this, I'm thinking I've had really, really tight, you know, like whatever. SDM. These, yes. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're so tight, but that makes total sense now. If they're tight. They're going to be pulling stuff down. Yeah. Darn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And it wraps like these muscles and they're holding the balling ball up, ball up too. Right. But these muscles pull down and they, 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 they are wrapped around the jawline like this. So you lose the jawline and you get kind of like this, uh, uh, drop right here. And then the muscles from the chin to the mouth tighten in what we call, unfortunately the witch's chin, which is that over time, this gets shorter and the mm. chin pulls up. And then as we purse our lips, you can see the uh, lines from the mouth to the jawline. These are all tight muscles. The lines around the mouth 
is because of the muscle that's really tight around the mouth. The okay. lines here, yeah, right, are because of our squinching. And when we squinch, you can see it pulls the eyebrow down too, mm -hmm. the whole eyebrow, right? So then yeah. you get the sagging eye eyelid. And then, of course, you know, the, the one that I use a lot that I'm pretty sure I'd look like I had craters if I weren't using my own protocol is the lines across the forehead. So mm -hmm. there are some that we, you know, with the protocol that you're getting to pop and get that apple back and the jaw and the jawline and the cheekbone. But really, the, the secret sauce is, is the energy frequency as well as the really understanding how to lengthen, lift, lengthen, lift, lengthen, lift and lymphatic mm -hmm. drainage. Let's talk a little bit about that energy frequency. Okay. Okay. So um, in every in every product that I have, what I did was I imprinted a little green bead. Can you see that little green bead? Yeah. And a uh, what people call a magic wand. So what I did is I used <clears throat> the same technology that I use in my office, but I used that in a way to imprint frequencies that balance all of the acupuncture meridians because when you're touching your face with this with this you know this wand and you're doing that you're touching all of these acupuncture meridians and uh and stimulating those so i did balancing the acupuncture meridians uh um increasing elastin collagen um and then really hundreds of other frequencies that enable our skin to repair and to like hold the, that nutrient. So, and I actually even did a uh, Dr. Puglis. I, I did a study cause I'm kind of like you are, I want the technology, I want the science and I want the proof. Right. Right. Yeah. So I, I did do a, um, a study with Dr. Puglis who is well known in the industry. And I didn't go for like, what can I do for claims? I went for, I want to know if this thing gets results. If I put it in somebody else's hands to be able to do this protocol and see what happens. And he was floored. He was floored. Like in 15 days, he said, I really don't know how you're getting these results. These women look like they've had many makeovers. So I was pretty excited about that, but I'll tell you what he didn't know about was he didn't know about the frequencies. He thought it was the magnets. He thought it was the protocol, but that mm. secret sauce is the frequencies. Oh, so interesting. So how do these frequencies, I mean, I, I know we, I know that we are energetic beings, right? right. And we're in this physical body. And so there's the physicality of, you know, these tight yeah. things pulling stuff down, yeah. but how does the energy side work? How do these frequencies work? And what is that little green bead? Okay. Okay. A great question. And I would, I would, ex that's the cool part about doing the, you know, this, this interview with you is, is that you go where I love, which is, you know, <laughs> oh, technology, right. You know, and, and, uh, I, so let's, uh, let's unpack that a little bit. Okay. So the little green bead is, a it's, it's a glass bead and I use this, uh, to hold the imprinted frequencies. So what I do is, is I actually call, I make what's called a reagent. So it's a very specific, uh, specific process of biophoton frequencies that I can imprint. So the reason why I used the technology that I do is because it is a language that the body understands. So I'm using that biophoton frequency that translates to how the body um, not only perceives of energy, like the, like the energy that you and I have right now, the energy, you know, that's, uh, uh, um, it, it, from cell to cell, it's this, it's this, this, we know the cells given the right information can last forever. So, uh, literally, I mean, maybe not forever, forever, but given the right nutrients, being able to detox, being able to, uh, breathe, those are key things that help our cells to be able to not just rejuvenate, stay healthy, but it's the neuroplasticity of the, teaching other cells how to do the same thing, right? Right. So I've used the frequencies to speak the language of the body and the biophoton energy to, if you will, train it to have healthy cells and to be able to rejuvenate that neuroplasticity of a healthy cell moving forward so that it has the information it needs to, to do what it needs to do to be by, you know, to have that vitality. Does that, that make sense? Okay. It's super, super interesting. So it's a, it's a little glass bead. Yes. And 
how do you imprint the <laughs> how do you imprint the the information in the bead okay so some of that is secret sauce but what okay. i can tell you what i can tell you is is the technology that i use is uh by using um by using uh, uh multiple ways of of imprinting uh, capturing imprinting uh, different frequencies. So everything from biophoton, which is very specific, not a lot of people are familiar with biophoton as an imprinting kind of co concept, but in making the reagents, uh, you know, we can, uh, we know that scalar energy is a good way to capture frequencies. The difference is, is being able to convert it into something that the body can understand. So a lot of people are using scalar energy for imprinting, but it's not enough. It, it, it absolutely needs like uh, I, I do all of the wands, all of the beads, all of my things that are imprinted with frequencies. I do myself because it's a I want it consistent and I want it to be able to be able to uh, duplicate it and mm -hmm. replicate it time and time and time again. Mm -hmm. So it's a very specific process in using multiple steps to be able to imprint the frequencies into that little green bead and that magic wand. Okay. Now I, I love the why, but I know a lot of people are like, I don't care. I want to hear. It. I just want to know, does it work? Right. Well, so how, how long have you been doing this and what kind of results have you gotten with, with, well, it's not just the wand thing. So you show this pen like thing, the wand, the wand. Yeah. Yes. And so it's not, that's part of your system, right? Yes. Do you want to talk? Do you want to talk about what the system is first, and then we can talk about the results? Sure, sure. Yeah, and in in fact, on your um, in your uh, um, summit, I talk about the body stone uh, for lymphatic drainage. So that's one of also the tools as well for uh, for for this particular the facial one. Yeah, let me kind of uh, uh, introduce each piece of it and then I can talk about it from there. So okay. every every single product has has uh, our bottle has a, a little green bead in it. So it is a day and a night and they're both designed they're both designed for uh let me see if I can spin those right. Uh, they're both designed for very specific purposes. The day cream has natural uh, Hawaiian oils in it, some probiotics, some CoQ10, some things that are just significant, not only for the body internally, externally, externally as well. One of the key components is the technology that I use, which is an oleozone technology. It's uh, unique because most people who are making oils or lotions are using um, really harsh chemicals to extract the oils as well as heat and pressing. This oleozone technology is so advanced. It's kind of like what I call like a seed. So it holds the nutrients of a seed like in nature where you mm -hmm. can like take a a uh, seed that you would plant in soil, you can have it sitting in your shed for a year. You can take it out, put it in the nutrient rich environment, and it will actually grow a beautiful flower or a plant. So it's the same technology. It holds that seed, it, it, the nutrients protects it, delivers it to the layer of the skin that requires it, and then opens and, and releases that. So that's, that is across the board with all of the skincare. So there's the day and night, the, a beautiful uh, serum mm -hmm. and a uh, scrub, which is vitally important because we have to take off the old to put on the new, very important. And then a cleanser, which is a natural fruit cleanser that helps to break down the dead skin cell barriers, you know, on a daily basis. Of course, the magic one. So that's the full face system. So all of this is natural, of course. Uh, oh, yeah. There's none of those phthalates and no all those other yes <laughs> no. hormone disruptors. Right. Actually, that was one of the most important things to me is is to be able to make a uh, technology based natural skincare that was not like FDA natural, but like truly natural because FDA natural is far from natural. Yeah. Uh, everything had to fall under the EWG one or below, um, you know, or that one rating. So that was really, really important to me and all of the ingredients and they had to work. So I, I'm, I, it's, it's, it's been kind of magical, but it's taken me a bit of time. 
<laughs> okay, so that was the environmental working group in case people don't know EWG. And so they, you can go in and put in different products or look up products and it'll tell you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, or ingredients. And it'll tell you what um, their rating is. And there's a lot of stuff that people are using all the time that's very toxic. We think that what we put on our skin stays on our skin, but it doesn't. It gets absorbed into our body. So, I mean, technically, I guess you could eat. You probably wouldn't want to eat, but you probably could eat. You could. Yeah, you could. <laughs> what you've got there. So how long did it take you, Kathy, to develop this system? So, um, the, so it took me several years to develop it. The really interesting thing is, is that with the protocol itself, uh, I feel like it was like a download from a higher place mm -hmm. because I've never changed a protocol from day one. And uh, so it was one of those just given to me things that here's this protocol, here's how it's going to work. As I unfolded that protocol, it really went, well, that makes sense because of this, this, and that makes sense. Oh, and doing the lymphatic drainage first makes sense because you have to get rid of the toxins. And then, right. so it was, it was interesting process um, mm -hmm. to develop the skincare. I really got fortunate in being able to work with a um, a chemist who has been in natural skincare since the 1970s before anybody was really doing natural skincare. So I just adore him and he's just been great. I told him, you know, all the things that I want it to do and what I wanted in it. And he's been a really fantastic in helping me put it together. Wow. And You've got backing it up to your years of energy work with traditional Chinese medicine and and all the all, all this other work that you were doing. So <clears throat> makes sense that you're pulling it all together and then your own personal thing where you're like, oh, I want to look younger. <laughs> um, right. Right. So um, how long how long have you been how long has this product been on the market? So um, it has been on the market. It, it came out before its time. People didn't understand it. Uh, so I've had, you know, my ebbs and flows with it uh, in the last 10 years. But consistently the last four years, I've had people who've been with me since 2019 that still are, you know, uh, show up at my webinars every month and, you know, send before and after photos. I can put them, you know, I put them side by side for people. So because we look at ourselves every day. So it's really kind of, uh, you know, we don't always see the changes when we when we uh, look at ourselves every day. So being able to kind of show some of those before and after photos has been huge, huge. Uh, so I have lots and lots of people that are uh, have sent in before photos and then in 30 days and then sent in the after. I put side by side. You are asking kind of the results that people are getting. And it's uh, I'll send you some photos that you can uh, you know, add to your, uh, emails or, and, and also I'll give you a, um, in your audience, a, uh, website where they can see more. Oh, that'd uh, be great. Or and after photos, but it's the, it's the lengthening. So it's not cordy. It's the, uh, saggy right here. The lines from here to here go away. The overall lengthening here, which gives that youthful look, the pop, where you get the apple, the defined jawline, and then that relax. Oh, and then eyebrows lifted, puffiness gone. All of those are really kind of key points. Right. Wow. So, um, so we'll share the website where people can go look to see these before and after pictures because that's pictures tell a thousand words, right? So that'll be really helpful. So you've obviously been around for a long time working with this, so it you wouldn't still be around if it didn't work and you've right. got these people coming back and um, again and again. So that's, that's really interesting. So is this your full practice now, like working with skincare or uh, how much, how do you tie it all together? Yeah. You know, that's actually a really interesting question because I was actually challenged into pulling it all together because uh, in my office, I see some pretty really chronic, chronic illnesses uh, and, and, pretty significant people who have been to practitioner after practitioner and uh, aren't getting the results, aren't getting, you know, healthy. Um, so it was actually an interesting paradigm for me to try to pull those two things together. Um, 
and in my practice, I do a lot of uh, neuro neuro emotional work because the emotions are the issues are in the tissues. The emotions show up on the face, uh, you know, things like that. So releasing those uh, stressors can make a big difference. But because in my in within my practice, in still utilizing all those neuro the technology things like that, we have like an integration room that's really all about. Um, integrating the brain and the nervous system and the heart and getting it to vibrate at the frequencies that are healing and healthy. So um, it's just uh, that. And, and I think one of the things that you were saying that we've both talked about is, is that sometimes you're just so sick, you don't really care how you look. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, there, there is yeah. that point where it was, yeah, I, I would much, much rather feel better than look better right now where I, where I am. And so I think that it's a kind of a transition. And uh, one of the cool things about what you do is you take people through paths and you help them to really be able to reach health and uh, vitality. So when people get to the point where, like you said, I looked in the mirror at one point when I was actually feeling significantly better. And you, like you said, you know, maybe a flare here and there, but uh I, it was, it became apparent to me that my face was not keeping up with the rest of my body, that I still looked really aged. I still looked like I was in pain. I still looked like I was carrying a lot of stressors. And that's what, uh, you know, that's really where that they come together. Mm. It makes total sense to me that it's kind of, it, it's very similar to say someone thinking, oh, all I got to do is change my diet and everything will be fine. And they'll, they're still thinking crappy thoughts and having you know, these emotions that are creating the wrong kind of vibrations in their body because emotions create feelings, feelings are vibrations in the body. Similarly, you can't just, you know, put some stuff on your face and do a few things and, and think that's going to be fine and still be feeling crappy, having negative thoughts about yourself, judgmental yourself and other people, all these things, again, still creating that negative energy, negative feelings, and then those vibrations in the body. So it makes total sense what you're doing there, Kathy, that you're going to combine these parts together. And then, of course, lymphatic drainage. We talked about that uh, when you were interviewed for the summit and how important that is to get toxins releasing in the body. So right. sounds like you, you pull a lot of different things together in your practice. Yes, actually, yes, quite, you know, I, I meet people where they are and figure out what they need and mm-hmm. yeah, use the tools I have. It's all about using your tools, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um, we're, oh my goodness, I can't believe the time. <laughs> this interviews, they always go so fast <laughs> on this show. But I want to make sure that I address, first of all, um, one question that I always ask all my guests, and that is... Uh, what is the one, here we go. What's the one action someone could take today to improve their health? Cause we're all about, uh, we're all about in- intentionality, right? So living with intention. And when people think, well, I got to make too many big changes, it might be too hard, but what's something they could do today that could make a difference that yeah. you would recommend? Yeah, I think that's a great question because it is it is about feeling overwhelmed, knowing that we need to make some shifts in our lifestyle. Uh, And I really like that uh, uh, question because it is one thing that will make a huge difference. And uh, I'm it it might seem redundant, but it's never redundant to me. But I'm going to say water. And one of the tricks in making sure you're getting enough water is I have people, you know, pour like a two liter bottle and pour from that two liter bottle because often in my practice i'll say how are you doing with your water intake and they go well i think pretty good i always have a bottle of water here and a bottle of water there and i'm like well do you refill them or you know oh you know what i don't know if i do so it's it's definitely uh you know setting a timer on your watch for every 20 minutes to take a sip so that you're not drinking a whole glass of water like dry clay you pour it on dry clay and it runs right off it's about nurturing and nourishing so it is water is it's it's it, it's the carrier of uh, information so mm. hydration 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 so important yeah and and it's going to help our skin i love what you said there about pouring water on dry clay i never thought about that before but 
yeah, we got to kind of stay moist. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. And yeah, great suggestion. All yeah. right. So I know that uh, we were talking about your, um, oh, yep, true. And it, uh, this isn't a true eight uh, um, website URL, but uh, this is your website. So you said that your, your website is true energy. So with one E. Yeah, that, no, G, no G in the middle. That's uh, oh, here. That's, let, sorry. Okay, sorry let's just that. say what it is. Okay, <laughs> let's just. I'm gonna actually. I can but, edit it right here. Okay, okay. good. Because actually, it is only one e between uh, true and energy. Yeah. Um, but that, uh, was my, that was me typing without glasses on. I think this might be all right now. Here we go. There. TrueEnergySkincare.com. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Forward slash Jane forward, slash, forward Jane. slash Jane. And the reason why I have the forward slash Jane is for your, for you only on the people who are, uh, that you share information with. I wanted to make sure that, um, you know, when you talk about something like this, you want people to be able to have the resources for it. So, um, we have a special, special offer with a discount, with a big discount, um, so that that's available to them as well. Oh, that's really sweet, Kathy. So people can go to the website to check it out. So make sure it's true energy, but there's only one E in there. T-R-U and then ener energy, skincare.com. That is really sweet. So is that the best place for people to find you on your website and find out more about you? Yeah. So if you do the forward slash Jane, it'll take you to the specific, you know, offer for, for you, but you can also look through the website there as well. Um, just make sure you come to that back to that page, uh, mm -hmm. um, because you won't see the discount otherwise. Okay. Um, but yes, you absolutely more information in pretty much every area. Oh, that's fantastic. And um, I'm I'm really excited for people to learn a bit more about this. And we'll get that link to share the before and after pictures. And um, I just got to say, I love what you're doing. I love the way you are combining all of these different modalities to help people look and feel better. Because, well, that's we feel we feel better when we look better too, right? And we when oh, we feel yes. when we feel better, we look better. This kind of all big circular um, thing. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I mean, when you look in the mirror first thing in the morning, and you look in the mirror and you think to yourself, "I look tired," you walk out with that energy. But if you walk, if you look in the mirror and you go, "Yeah, I'm not putting on makeup today," you know, mm -hmm. uh, which I haven't really worn makeup in years with using the true energy, a little, a little eyeliner or, or, you know, um, eyebrow liner and some mascara and that's it. Uh, so it, it, there, it's just something about being able to go out with the energy that you see yourself that make a big difference. And it's exactly like you said, one feeds, they feed each other both directions. Mm -hmm. Beautifully said. Kathy, thank you so much for being a guest on Wellness by Design today. Thank you. I so appreciate you and everything you do for everyone that uh, really is suffering. So thank you. Oh, thanks for saying that. That was sweet. And thank you to the audience for your for listening and for watching, however you're doing this. And I'm really curious to uh, find out if you if you look into this a little bit further and, and see what you think. So share with me what you find out. And if you have any questions, let me know. And um, also tune into the, the Becoming Pain-Free Healing the Root Causes of Chronic Pain Summit, and you'll hear Kathy talking about, um, about toxins and about energy and that combining together to help release pain. So that's live July 18th to the 24th, 2022. And it's all free for you to watch at that time. And actually, I just I've got I'll share the link, but there's the uh, there's a link there, but I'll share that in the notes as well. So that you can join in and we'd love to see you there. So take care, everyone. Have a beautiful day.